And for me, it was very strange. I mean, obviously, there was a lot of happiness and joy, but for me, it was very strange because as a young author with their first traditionally published book, I had all of these long-term goals and dreams and visions for myself of like, I'm going to be writing till I'm 50 and, you know, maybe one day I'll be on the times list and maybe one day I'll get invited on a morning show. I hit all those dreams in like three months. And to my surprise is that there was just this profound kind of emptiness on the other side of that. Oh, shit, what do I dream now? What do I hope for in my future? Very unexpectedly, it kind of I spiraled into a little bit of a funk, like a little bit of a depression. And the worst thing about that type of depression is nobody wants to hear you talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> There's no no tears shed. No sympathy whatsoever. Like, oh, boo-hoo, poor author, sold three million books or whatever. So it really caught me off guard. And there was a little bit imposter syndrome, which I think comes with any monumental success. There was a little bit of what do I do now? Like, how do I follow this up? A lot of insecurity of, am I ever going to do anything this meaningful or noteworthy again? And I struggled with that for a number of years. That was just kind of on the emotional and personal side. That doesn't even get into like relationships and money. I, I feel like it's almost like a prerequisite to being quote unquote wealthy is you have to spend money on something stupid that you regret. Like, I just feel like that is a, a non-negotiable. You're not really wealthy until you've done that at some point. I went through a couple of those experiences. What would be the most notable? F***ing house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, the funny thing about me is I, I'm very minimalist. I'm very Spartan. I don't really like to have a lot of possessions. But for some reason, when it was time to buy a house, I'm like, you know what? Let's just get all the rooms. <laughs> you know, I've, I have nothing to put in them, but let's get them all. And that was just an unbelievable mistake that really made my life a headache for a while. So what are some of the things you thought you wanted that you got and you're like, huh? I, I think you and I are very similar in that we started as online blog guys. And mm -hmm. I think when you come up in the internet world, even if you amass a very large audience, at least for me, there was always a little bit of this chip on my shoulder of like, I'm not a real writer. Like I don't, I, my art, I don't have an article in a magazine. I haven't, there's, there hasn't been a profile on me in a newspaper for a number of years. I, I really, really wanted that for lack of a better term, mainstream media attention just kind of like that nod of respect. When I started getting that, working and engaging with a lot of legacy media, I was like, wow, this sucks. 